Hello Sparkle Squad and welcome back to my channel. I am Jessica Sparkles and today I want to do a page out of Cute Witches by Jade Summer. I did take a poll and it was out of Cute Witches or Chibi Horror Grayscale and the overwhelming result was Cute Witches. So I thought I would do this page here or this one because I really really love her like I love her chubbiness and she's me and I she's got all these pumpkins so I really really love her but I also love her I've had a hard time deciding but I think I'm gonna go with her so I've got my sharpies over here I've got my Cali art markers here I've got some gel pens I've got this full of my white gel pens and um, I just like to do this and watch it sparkle because look at it just shine i got this at walmart isn't it cute and the school supply stuff little mermaid tail pencil pouch so that's a pin in gear um i also wanted to show you these gel pens i picked up yesterday at walmart these are the pin and gear brand as well and they're like multicolor, so they change colors when you write with them i probably won't color with them but writing with them yeah they're pretty cool i like them so those were really like two bucks so that wasn't bad so that are those these are pretty cool I like them okay so I just got a little bit of everything over here sorry I have the sniffles you'll probably hear my air and the fan running because it's warm and if you're new here I have doggies you might hear them bark or growl or or whine or something while I am coloring so if you don't like that it's too bad so sad they live here they make noise that's what dogs do so Let's go ahead and get into this cutie patootie right here. I think we're gonna go with her. And I think I will start off with her skin and I will use the Kelly Art markers. And I think I'm gonna go with one of these colors over here. Let's see. Baby skin pink will work. So how are all of you? I hope you're doing well. Let me zoom in just a smidgen. I constantly have the sniffles anymore. Like, always be having the sniffles. What are all, any of you working on at the moment? Please do let me know. Do you have this book? Do you like it? Jade Summer graciously sent this book to me for review and to show it off on my channel. And I love it. Uh, I love their grayscale, and I've been wanting this book. Um, I wanted it in the line art, but since they did the grayscale, I was like, oh, please, yes, I'd rather have the grayscale. So here we are. I like this little cowgirl witch here riding her horse broom. I thought it was super cute. I was having a hard time picking what picture to do in here because I really like all of them. Like, I like all of the pictures in this book. Oh, bad. My aller I guess allergies? But they've been like this for months. I'm just assume at this point that it's allergies. I really don't know. I'm just making sure that I'm in focus here. I think my sinuses has just went haywire for whatever reason. So how's the weather where all of you are? It is just hot and disgusting here I mean it's not up like in the hundreds but with the heat index it feels like it because the humidity has been crazy town and it's just hot and um, I can't even swim in my pool because my pool pump went out so there's that and that's made me upset because now my water's all gross and I don't want to swim in gross water so, well, I've got that I'm dealing with. Um, and I can't afford a new pool pump. They're like over 300 bucks. And I was like, uh, I can't afford one of them at the moment. Uh, probably get one next year. Uh, so what I'm planning on doing here within the next few days is going out, pulling the drain plug on the pool and just uh, letting it drain clean it and then take it down for the summer just take it down until next year 
I really don't have much of a choice but to do that at this point. So didn't really want to because I still want to swim. It's still hot. We Oklahoma stays hot usually through um, October. So I still got a couple more hot months to go. And I'm just like, it just, it just sucks, you know, it just sucks. Make sure you can still see what I'm doing. I think she is adorable. She's gonna be super duper adorbs. I'm so looking forward to cool weather. But then again, I always am. Like, I'd prefer it to be cool year round. I hate the heat. Hate it. Absolutely hate it. Okay, let's do her little face up here. Don't worry, see, this is drying lighter so that all lightens up because it does have the black on the back. Now, I know some people has complained in the Jade Summer group that the black on the back of these pages is making their books curl. That's not the case um, because all I've got a bunch of Jade Summer's books and the only time I have a problem with mine curling is when the lady at the post office decides to squish it in my P.O. box and it, she like this rolls it up and squishes them in there. So that's the only time I have ever had problems with my books curling. So that kind of makes me mad. And we don't know, if yours hasn't arrived squished up, we don't know what happens in transit. So, but I can guarantee it's not the black on the back. That should have nothing to do with your pages curling, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and color over her lips because I'll probably, well, we'll use a different color anyway there. But the curling, you can make it flatten back out. If you put your book under something heavy, it'll flatten again, so. It is a big deal though. I would say it's not a big deal, but it is a big deal because, I mean, seriously, there's no point in squishing it in a box that it's not gonna fit in, you know? That just kind of makes me mad. Okay, so we'll, we'll let her little face there dry. That's all of her skin done. Let's see, let's do her eyes. What if we make her a little redhead? I feel like making her a little redhead, so let's give her some green eyes, like a bright green. Um, that's, well, let's see, I got a piece of paper here. Let's see if I want pale green. Yeah, pale green will work. And then as I said, the lighten up. So we're gonna make her a bit of a redhead today. Let's see, do I want it boom in your face red or maybe a little bit more? toned down. Mm, I don't think I want it like bright red. I'm just kind of scribbling some colors over here off on the side to kind of see what I want. We might go with that color. Praline is, yeah, that's too dark. That's brown. Okay, I'm gonna just go with this color. It's this dark wine looking color and it's called Argyle. So we'll just do her some Kind of lightly. There we go. 
get in them little spots real easy here. So what have y'all been up to? Have you been up to anything exciting? Me? No, nothing really. Um, just hanging out at home, coloring, diamond painting, playing video games, same old, same old. Get me a drink of my cherry coat here. Let's see if I can do her eyebrows. I want to say thank you to everyone who purchases things from my links. I just made a big coloring book order with my Amazon affiliate gift card. So I'm excited to be getting them books in. I'll do a haul when they do come in. So I'm not going to tell you what we got. So it'll be a surprise. But I want to thank you guys for using those links and uh, get a small kickback. As most of you know by now, that when you use the links that I provide in the description, that I get a kickback um, when you click on them and when you make a purchase through those links. So that helps me buy new things for the channel, new books, new supplies. Usually I get books because supplies are quite a bit higher. So I'll get the books unless I have a big payment. Uh, this time I had, I was a little shy of $20 on this gift card. I think it was like $19.59 or something like that. So I bought a ton of uh, some books that I wanted that I've been wanting. So it's going to be exciting to get those in. I actually went over a little bit so I had to pay a little bit more out of my own money for them but that's okay. That's all right. No biggie deal there. I really like this color. I'm glad I chose it for her hair. I just love Jade Summer's Grayscale. And I've tried other Grayscale books, but Jade Summer's are, to me, are the best. Like, I love them. They're easy to color. And the grayscale's just done really well. So I prefer their grayscale over others. I have. Now, that doesn't mean I don't like the work, like the pictures in the other grayscale books. Because I have um, two of Alina Lazareva's grayscale books. I think it's Autumn and Halloween or something. I forgot. I bought them last year. But I have found them difficult for me to color in. So I've just kind of stuck them back in the stash and haven't really touched them. But I might, uh, I kind of messed up some pages, so, and with me, if I mess up a page in a book, I usually end up just repurchasing the book before I'll color again in it. So, that's probably what will happen. I'll just rebuy the book and try again. So, I went to Walmart yesterday because I had to pick up some... Uh, stuff for dinner that I needed some extra of and I went down the clearance aisle and they had some wax melts on clearance which was awesome because I love me some wax melts so I put a new one one of the ones I got yesterday in my burner this morning and it smells it's making my mouth water and making me want to eat it it's a uh, key lime cheesecake is the scent it was like on sale for a buck and it's, um, let's see, I got the empty container because I filled all my, um, all of my warmers in the house today with it. This is it. It's the Better Homes and Gardens. It's Key Lime Cheesecake. And, oh, it just smells so good. People often ask me, well, sorry, I dropped all my gel pens. Um, they said, well, what, what would you like for you know, whatever, Christmas, birthday, whatever. And I'm like, get me wax belts. I love, or candles. I love smelly things. So candles, wax melts, perfumes, body sprays, anything like that, love it. So I really like that color for her hair. That's really cute. Okay, so now we gotta decide. Her outfit, like this looks like fringe. 
So I'll probably do those in a brown color. Good thing I got a lot of brown colors to choose from because her horse will be brown. This is gonna be like a, a uh, tannish, yellowish, maybe a yellow ochre for the end of her broom. Let's do her earrings and I want to do them gold. So I'm gonna take what's left of my poor sparkle pop here in the gold color. I really need to get some more sparkle pops too. I just haven't, but we'll just do her earrings in those. Pretty sure there's enough left for that. I do love my sparkle pops. You can tell because this one's mostly empty. Now let's go ahead and do her little medallion right here, gold as well. Just bring some sparkle into the page and we'll do the chain. Part of the chain right there. Okay, so I like that. You see it sparkle? Hope so. Uh, and let's do her little satchel down here, the little buckle. I'm gonna do it with this gold sparkle pop as well. There we go. And the ring on her belt. Okay. There we go, I like that. Well, I'm gonna do her shorts in a denim, denim-y, denim-ish color. Um, maybe this one. Yeah, this will work. This is Indian blue. I think it's a skirt. It's a skirt, actually, but that's okay. Let's see. We'll have a denim skirt. If I keep stopping, it's because I'm looking to make sure that everything is in camera and I'm not coloring off camera so y'all can see what I'm doing. So you may have noticed I didn't put out any videos last week. Um, once again, for whatever reason that is unknown to me, I was having some tummy problems and I just did not feel like um, recording. But mostly the tummy problem started Thursday, but the rest of the week I was just not feeling it. So I was like, uh, I just don't don't want to. Honestly, I was just like, I just don't want to film any videos. And then when I did decide I wanted to, I got sick. Um, I'm fine now. I don't know what it was about, but Thursday I woke up with the most awful nauseous. I was just so nauseous at my stomach. I'm like, ugh, I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick. Then had other tummy issues <laughs> along with that um, and then it was just like a wave of sickness hit me and I just I was in bed all day I was like uh -uh, I don't feel good I don't want to be up so and that lingered over into Friday morning afternoon ish but after let's see Friday I got up and I took a shower and rinsed off and after I had my shower and everything I started to feel better like the nauseousness let up and I was feeling a lot better. So I don't know what it was about if maybe I got a stomach bug because I do know that there was a stomach bug going around out here. So that might have had something to do with it. I'm not sure, but I'm sure glad that it quit because that was awful. So I'm just trying to think. I think I'm going to do her jacket also in a, in, to make her little denim jacket. So I was like, eh, I guess we're not doing a video. So I just didn't do one last week. So if you were looking forward to it, I do apologize. So I'm just being real careful not to get in that gold I laid down and not to get blue in her face. There we go. see. There 
here we go. <laughs> Being real careful, so I'm just kind of shh, shh, shh. So I've been working on my husband's diamond painting that I'm doing for him. I'm doing Darth Vader. It's half done. I'll go back over those buttons on her jacket with something else in a little bit. Uh, so yeah, so that's going to be cool. He's looking cool. I'm not big into Star Wars. I mean, I like the new ones that come out, but I'm not like a huge Star Wars fan. My husband really likes Star Wars, so I wanted to do him the the Darth Vader and then after that I'm gonna work on a diamond painting for myself because all of the ones that I've done recently have all been gifts for somebody else so I was like I haven't done one just for me in a while a long while so I thought that I would do one for me and I think I want to do that uh, sugar skull partial that I got from GBFKE because I really really like that one and I think I'll do a diamond painting and chat with that one when I get ready to do it so I know a lot of people like the cardinal one but I'm I like it too but I'm really drawn to that sugar skull one so that's probably the one I'll do first GBFKE has sent me some more diamond paintings, so I am excited to get those. And I got contacted this morning by another diamond painting company uh, that wants to work with me and send me diamond paintings for review, so that's exciting. So I emailed them back when I woke up and had read their email. I emailed them back, told them I'd love to work with them. So we will proceed from there and see how that goes. So it's all very exciting to me. might have been a little too dark but that's okay it'll be all right it's already down can't do nothing about it now can we might do her little bodice here um it's red I feel like I want it to be red for some reason like not the color of her hair red but like a red red we'll see I'm not sure yet that's part of her arm right there these little areas I like going around stuff I real lightly tap in color because otherwise it might bleed over into that area and I don't want that which is why you'll also see me like outline areas, just so when I go to color it, it doesn't bleed out of the line. There's her little jacket all done. How cute, she's so cute, I love her. I'll set that color out to the side in case I need it again, because you never know. Um. Let's see. Let's do her little fringes. We could actually do the fringes a lighter blue. Let's actually do that. I think I kind of want to do that. So I grabbed this cornflower color. Hopefully that's light enough. If not, oh well, already messed it up. So we'll let that dry and see if that was light enough. looks light. No, it's actually the same color as that. So, uh, that kind of sucks. It's 
almost the same color as that. Okay, let me grab a different one. We'll just do those one fringes that color. I'll just grab a different light blue, pastel blue. Mm, maybe not that one. Turquoise light. No. What's this one? Baby blue. Maybe we'll go with the pastel. I just make her look like she's all in denim. to figure out. I'm pretty sure that's all just fringe in there, so. Some of my, one of my blues in the Cali Arts, I was using it the couple days ago when I was doing a picture out of a Hannah Lynn book, and I ran out. I was like, uh-oh it was not wanting to put down color and I was like oh oh no <laughs> so that means I'm gonna have to reorder some Kelly arts and I think uh, this next time when I do decide to get them I've got the is it a hundred and it's the hundred set it might be the hundred set hundred I don't know the big set of Kelly arts is what I want to get next I can't remember how many is in that big set, but that one's on my wish list. And there's actually, I've added quite a few things to my wish list recently. Some of those being distress inks, and that is all Zucchini Kitty's fault. Uh, if y'all don't know who Zucchini Kitty is, her name is Karen, and she is amazing here on YouTube. She colors the most beautiful pictures I've ever seen in my life. But I love the way she uses the Distress inks, and I was like, I want some of those to do backgrounds and stuff with. So I went in and added a bunch of Distress inks and the little dabby thingies. Oh, I had to get a drink. But I've been a good girl. I haven't been buying anything because, uh, Believe it or not, y'all know I got a new car last month on the 11th. I still have not got my title for the car. Um, so last week, that was another reason I didn't film, because I was on the phone almost every single day trying to get a hold of the car lot, because I hadn't got my title, and I was like, uh, my thing goes out on the 11th, my paper tag said I need something of some sort you know, uh, I need to get some answers and nobody would answer my phone calls. I left texts, I left voicemails, I left emails. Um, I was like, no one's answering, no one's calling me back. So finally last week I get a hold of, finally get a hold of someone in the finance department after all week long trying to get a hold of somebody. And What happened was, and they should have let me know this long before now, but what happened was, is uh, the title, well, the previous owner of the car had never registered the car in their name, like, ever, so when the car lot got, the, got my car in, they didn't have the title, so they had to do some, I don't know what they had to do, but anyway... They had got a hold of get it expedited out to me. They said I should get it sometime this week. So I'm still waiting to pay for 
pay for that so I can get my tags and stuff on my car. I've been trying for a month to do this and still haven't. So that's been a nightmare. But they should come in sometime this week and they're expensive. They're really expensive. Um, it's like $397 is what it's going to cost. And that's a lot of money. It is. It's a lot of money. So, I've been a good girl and not spending um, anything extra until I can get that taken care of. And, of course, you know, make sure that my car payments are taken care of. So, which I've already made a car payment and still haven't got my tag. So, it's crazy. It's craziness. I already got the bill for next month, too. And I was like, so I've got almost two car payments already and still no tags. I don't get it. Um, I think I will take that corn flower though and do her little bodice here. It is a little bit different than the dark denim, so it should, should do a little contrast. Hopefully it'll be a little bit different. a night sky going here but I want to make it really um, fantasy like so instead of coloring it black I think I might just take a dark purple and color the sky. I think that'd be really pretty. Okay see I like that. That color goes good there. And then I'll do her hat that original color that we had which was uh, Indian blue. I'll do her little this and this, that pastel blue. Nope. We got her stockings to do, but she's turning out cute, I think. What do y'all think? Y'all like her so far? I think she's a cutie pie. You can see them, that gold sparkling. I love it. So she's turning out super adorbs already. Wasn't sure at first because, well, I didn't know what page I wanted to do. I didn't know what colors I was gonna use. I never do, I just go for it. quiet when I'm working in little spots like around the gyms and stuff so yeah um, last week was a nightmare but hopefully that's cleared up I wish that I mean all they had to do was call me back right I'll have voicemails or and even texted them I mean it would have took a second to just call me back and let me know what was going on and it just kind of upset me that they didn't I don't know if that's her hair or part of the hat right there under her ear. I know that part is part of the hat. I'm gonna color it like her hair. It's just a small little piece. I think it is supposed to be her hair. If not, it is now. If not, it is now. Being careful around her ear and her earring. She got a little bit of her ear showing over here, so. And this is where I do the whole kind of outline thing before I color, just to make sure that I don't get stuff where I don't want it to be. Okay.
hungry. Of course, it is almost noon. Haven't ate yet. Not sure what I'm going to go in there and fix. I learned over the weekend how to make sautéed mushrooms. And I've never made sautéed mushrooms before, but I do like them. So I learned how to make them, and oh my god, did they turn out so good, and they were so easy, and I was like, if I would have known how easy it was to make sautéed mushrooms, I would have been doing it a lot sooner than now. So all I did was get little sliced white mushrooms, the little ones that are already sliced up, threw some butter in a pan, or in a skillet, let that melt real good, put the mushrooms in, let them cook until they got brown, added some salt and pepper, and then I threw in some onion. I sliced up a, a yellow onion into little slivers and kind of cut them in half, and then I uh, threw them in with the mushrooms and let them cook in that butter, and I added butter as I needed to. Uh, your mushrooms cook out a lot of water, so, but I like the buttery taste so I threw that in and then once the, mu the mushrooms and the onions were kind of sauteed and browned and soft I threw in a couple teaspoons of minced garlic I think about two and a half teaspoons is what I put it in. I think I might have done three because I like my stuff garlicky so I threw that in mixed that up and then I took a packet of brown gravy and put it over and mixed it in and oh my god was they so good so we had those on our hamburgers um my husband cooked out burgers on the grill so that's what we had uh for lunch and dinner saturday we had swiss swiss mushroom burgers and it was so good and i got more mushrooms yesterday because we're making pork steak loaded baked potatoes potato and sauteed mushrooms which is what we had last night and we're having it again tonight because it was so good so yum so yum 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 yummy de yum yum all right let's uh i like that that's cute let's work on her little stockings and again we're just gonna go or i'm gonna go we're not going anywhere i'm gonna go um just to use these same colors here that we've been using for her outfit. She's a very blue witch. <laughs> So I hope you guys got yourself a drink because I'm going to try and finish, hopefully, unless I get too hungry. I want to try and finish this whole page on camera, but I am getting pretty hungry. Last week I made enchiladas and Spanish rice for dinner, homemade ones, so good. Homemade rice, homemade enchiladas, the best. That was a pretty good dinner too. I'm going to gain a lot of weight if I keep cooking like that. <laughs> But now it's hot, and I'm like, I don't want to cook. It's too hot. I don't want to. <laughs> but after I do make stuff, it is pretty good. So what are some of your favorite dinners to cook or to make when it's hot, like in the summer? What's some of your favorite summer dishes? I'm always looking for new recipes and new things to try because I get tired of the same old, same old. I just want something new. Also for lunches because I get tired of sandwiches and it's like I don't know what to make for lunch and there are times that I just won't eat much because I'm like I don't know what to make. I don't know what to cook me. Y'all ever get like that where you just don't know what to eat so you just don't eat? But uh, the little grocery store place around the corner that's I mean it's it's within walking distance it takes me two seconds to get there the by my house uh, I can see the store from my backyard um, they make really good food and they have specials every day so 
sometimes I go down there and we'll get me some something to eat for lunch. They're really cheap too. You can get a whole big lunch for like six bucks. So that's not bad at all. I really, really enjoy their, um, they make a California club sandwich. Now, if I had a sandwich like that every day, I'd be all right with it because it is delicious. Had a taco salad from there, some street tacos, which are really, really good too. Everything I've got down there is pretty good. And they, that's just their, like on their special menu, but they have a regular menu too, where you can order like burgers, pizza, um, kitty chicken. If you don't know what kitty chicken is, it's basically little chicken balls. They call it kitty chicken, but it's like little balls of chicken, like a chicken strip. But yeah, so I'm glad that they started making food down there so I don't have to go all the way into the next town, which is to get to like, and they don't have much to choose from. There's McDonald's, a Sonic, a Subway, a Brahms. If you're from around Texas, Oklahoma, you know what Brahms is. It's just a burger fast food place that makes they have good ice cream you can go in they have like a little market on the side of their fast food place and you can get like Brahms ice cream I love their milk and I love their ice cream so we always stop there to get milk and uh, ice cream usually but yeah so there's that place but I don't really like their regular food I'm not too much of a fan of their regular food so I never eat there and I think I just named everything that's like fast food wise in Anadarko. There's not much. There's not much. Um, I don't really like to eat Subway because I think their sandwiches are over overpriced and you don't get you don't get much for on your sandwich. I can make a big better sandwich at home if I wanted to, so <laughs> I miss a Quiznos. We used to have, well, there used to be a Quiznos in the town I used to live in, uh, Chickasha, which is where my Aunt Rhonda lives, and that's where I go and visit about once a week. And they used to have a Quiznos there, and I loved their sub sandwiches. Ooh, and their pasta bread bowls. Oh my gosh, those were so, I'm so hungry. I'm talking about food. But those were so good. I loved them. I want to make her boots. I kind of want to make her boots have gold tips on them because she's fancy. She's a fancy witch. So I'm going to put gold tips on her boots. And yeah, put gold tips on them. Now I do think that I'll make them, what color do we want those to be? What is this color? No, that's too dark. I'm really just using all of the, my Cali Arts. I haven't grabbed any Sharpie or anything yet. When in doubt, use potato brown. I'm gonna do her boots potato brown here. should call that store and see what their uh, special is today. If it's a California club, I'm going to go get one. Also, we have the most delicious snow cone stands around or snow cone stand around here in this town that opened up a couple months ago or a month ago. I can't remember. I think, I think it's only been open a month. Oh my god, they're snow cones? Last week, their special snow cone, they do like a special of the week. And last week was key lime pie snow cone. Oh my goodness. It is, it's massive. And uh, they have ice cream in the center of the snow cone. So there's vanilla ice cream. And then they put a, it was key lime or lime flavored snow cone. It had whipped cream on top. And it had graham cracker crumble on top. As well as a little hunk of key lime pie. 
by actual key lime pie and it was so good <laughs> so that one was really really good and their uh, buttered beer snow cone was another one of them that was really good it was butterscotch snow cone with ice cream in the middle big deal of whipped cream on top and then drizzled with caramel oh my god that one was really good i like that potato brown for her boots uh so that was really delicious so their food is just i mean not their food their snow cones are amazing so i try to go get a special even their plain ones are really really good and you can always add and like you can add in a hunk of cheesecake or candy or whatever you want they're so good so me and hubby will go get one in the evenings after dinner through the week i love snow cones that's probably my only favorite thing about summer is snow cones <laughs> i don't know what this is right here let's see this is the saddle. This is the horse that comes down here. So what is this? That might be another bag. I'm going to color it like another bag. So I'm just going to color it this brown because I don't really know for sure. But that's what I'm going to say that is there. I'm going to do her gloves in this brown kind of bringing that color into the rest of the picture so it's not all centralized in one area. She is looking cute as crap. <laughs> she is so adorable. Love it, love it. I think I'm gonna do this horse's reins gold too, just because I want him to be fancy. So I'm just gonna color his or her broom's reins gold. And this stripe that's along her pants, I'm gonna cover up with that with the gold as well. Just give her a little bit of sparkle and flair here. So let's do this part. Can you see that? I hope. And then this part. Hopefully, there's enough of this gel pin to do it all. I really, really need to order some more of these. And I'm being a good girl being a good girl and not buying nothing being a good girl or trying to be it's hard sometimes it's so hard being good yeah that was enough oh I like that I like that a lot and we'll do these little stripes wanting gold she's got a fancy little broom here Her nails I think I will also take that sparkle pop the, in the blue which has a shift to kind of purple sometimes but I'm gonna do her nails in that color loving her yeah see you can see her nails there how they 
Oh, she's so cute. I love her. I love her. And you see the gold tip on her boots. She's, I love her. I'm loving her. I'm going to give her a very light pink lip. And if I'm not mistaken, there's a blush color somewhere in these markers. One of these colors is blush. That's blush. Oh, want blush. Barely beige. Baby skin pink. No. Pastel pink. No. Blush. There we go. I knew it was there somewhere. So we're just going to... too much of a pink, but it kind of just darkens her lips up a little. Okay. Now. Now, now, now. Now be now. What color of tan? What is this? Here's my ochre, but ochre... Ochre in this is more of a brown, so I actually think what I'm going to do is do the broomstick in the ochre and then take um, the yellow, the color just yellow right here, and do this down here, the bottom of the broom. Because the, the ochre to me is like, here it is, see, it's like that. And then the yellow is like that. So that's kind of the two colors that I want to use for the horse. And of course, when you color with it on the grayscale, it does get, it's a little bit darker, so that's gonna work out perfect. But I wanted this color to be different from her gloves and her boots and her bag. It's a little bit different color. And this should lighten up here in a minute. I don't know if I asked, but how many of you have this book? Do you like it? Do you love it? Are you coloring along with me at the moment? I'm going to color with the eye and everything because I just want him to be like a wood carving. So he's not like an actual horse with an eye color and all that. I want him to look like the broom is carved. beautiful brown color. Once again, did the outline thing, then I'll use my chisel to kind of quickly color that in. I like him. So Hubby and I just finished watching a show um, we watch it on Hulu, but it's from the History Channel, and it's called, um, The Secrets of Skinwalker Ranch. That is such a very interesting show. It definitely keeps my attention. So, if you guys like, uh, alien-type shows, it's not a, it's not like a, a fiction show. It's them investigating Skinwalker Ranch in Utah. It's really, really interesting. I really uh, enjoy watching it, so you might want to check that out if you like those types of shows. There's only seven seasons in the first, 
or seven seasons, seven episodes in the first season. That's all that's out right now. So we finished that, and I was like, aw. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, man, I hate when I finish a show when there's not another season to watch. But it was really, it's really interesting, and I really enjoyed watching that. So what's some, some things that you like watching? It can be Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, whatever it is. What's something that you're currently watching that you enjoy? Normally we don't watch a lot of TV, so every once in a while we find something that we really like. See, I really like how that turned out. So I'm trying to, I'm turning my book so I can color comfortably, but also so you can see in which area I am coloring. a perfect broom color. Yeah, just let me know down in the comments some, some of your favorite shows and I'll check them out. watch more TV than hubby does um, so I'm always on the lookout for something new to watch during the day although a lot of the time or a lot lately I've just been watching YouTube so you know all right so we got her all done the main part I need to figure out you know what let's just take this blue and we'll just color the the straps on the satchel's blue and this one over here too there we go all right how do you like her let me zoom out a little bit she looks really cute so we just have the background to do so this video is going to be a little bit over an hour we've got some water running down here some bushes grass and the, the mountains the sky and the excuse me the sky and the moon so I'm gonna take this ultramarine and I'm gonna do the water down here so it's gonna be dark ultramarine is gonna be dark on here but that'll be okay so I'm just turning her to the side because it's easier for me to color that way I want to go get my nails done but I haven't I haven't had my nails done since sometime last year. Like actual done in a salon, nail salon. It's been a while. some white into this uh, little river area too and it'll give it that effect of water. But I'd love nothing more right now than to go have a day of pampering like go get my nails done, maybe get a pedicure. <sighs> I need to get my hair trimmed. I actually want to get it redone died. I want another, a new, I have a new hair combo that I want to try. I'm going to keep that a secret until I actually get my hair done. Then y'all can see what I might do. Actually, that might be a vlog day doing my hair. That might be a vlog day. That'd be a good vlog. My guy that does my hair, um, his, he moved, he moved away. Uh, he moved to Oklahoma City, but he'll still come down to where he was doing hair he'll set up an appointment and he does it when the salon is closed so it's just you and him and there's no um you know like where there's a lot of people where you could possibly catch something so i was like that's awesome so i might soon give him a call and set up a hair appointment 
because I tried to trim my bangs and I kind of messed them up a little bit. So he's got to fix that. He needs to fix my bangs and I need to get my hair just trimmed up and in ship shape. All right, so there's our little water river running down through there. And now we will work on the bushes, which I'm going to make, what is this, emerald green. So all of them I'm gonna make emerald green. And you'll see why in a minute. So when I do the grass, this could be grass or dirt. I'm gonna do it as grass because we need to pop a color so it'll be a lighter green. And I just wanted the bushes to be a darker green. Mocha, no, no. No, no. Come here. Hey, 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 hey. No. I don't know why she's barking like that. I didn't hear anything. She thinks she hears something. <laughs> Mocha. Nobody wants to hear you bark like that. No, they don't. Be good. No. 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 Hey. Do you want to go outside? You do. Okay. All right, hold on, guys. Let me let her out. Because she's, she's not going to stop. Hold on one second. Come on. Let's go outside. even though she's outside but you just have to get over that <laughs> oh well let her run roam around out there I'm not gonna get too worried if I get outside of the lines up in the grass on this cause, oh well you know not that big of a deal don't want to get the green like in her boot or anything but I'm just gonna kind of even worried that the green is patchy because it is a bush so it kind of just works out I'm really not too worried if it's patchy and go over here with this chisel very carefully go around that Tip here so I can get in here.
and then we just have this little bit here. We'll do the grass, the mountains, the sky. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I know it's a long video. Some of you say that you like the longer videos, so I haven't done a long one in a while, so here you go. Of course, you don't have to watch this all in one whack. You can always, well, if you're listening to me now, you've already watched it all in one whack, <laughs> or most of it. Um, you don't have to watch it all in one whack. You can always, you know, turn it off and come back and pick up where you left off later, pause it, whatever. So you don't ever have to watch something all in one go if you don't want to. Sometimes I do that with the long, long videos that if I decide to watch them, I uh, watch a little bit of it, pause it or turn it off and then come back later and watch a little bit more. Because if I'm honest, I can't sit, like just sit for a long time. I have to always get up and move. I do that when I'm, that's what takes me so long to color a picture when I'm not filming because I'm always up and down while I'm coloring. I constantly get up, move, stretch, go get something to snack on, get a drink. There we go. All right, now. Oh, just throw stuff on the ground. This uh, oh, grass green works. That's a good color. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna go over all this bottom. And I don't care if I get into the dark green, it'll be all right. Because it's lighter, it shouldn't show up too much anyway. So and that'll fill in any gaps I may have missed. Thank goodness for a chisel tips, huh? Sometimes we need that chisel. I kind of want to leave the mountains gray, but I don't want them to be the grayscale that it is gray. So I'll have to pick out a Maybe a blue gray or a green gray to do them. Or maybe even a darker gray. I'm not sure yet. So really liking how the ground is coming along. Actually, I just really like how this whole picture has done. I wasn't sure in the beginning how it was going to look, especially when I started doing her colors up here, but I really, really like it. Sometimes you can't quit, you just got to power through and then you might end up really liking it, so just remember that if you think, oh no, it doesn't look good, finish it or, you know, get more color on because nine times out of 10, it's going to look even better once you get more colors on than just what you start out with. So if it doesn't look like what you thought it would at first, just keep going and you may really surprise yourself. like little rocks so just gonna go around them like that and then just this bit here
Oops, that's okay. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. I think that's some grass right there. We'll find her boot. I think this is part of the mountain range. It's going to be. So it is now. If it's not, it is now. All right, so this is, no, that's not what I want. Uh, let's see. I think the blue-gray one is what I want for the mountains. I'm not sure, let me see. Mm, it's really light. Maybe we've got a Huh. Here's blue gray seven. Ooh, that's too dark. Okay. Blue gray three. Let's do blue gray three. I think that'll be okay. Of course, with this color, if I don't like it, I can always go in with the regular gray over the top, so. be a weird thing to say, but I like gray mountains. Ooh, I opened that door when I let the dogs out. I was like, oh my lord, it's hot. <laughs> it's like instant heat in the face, and that's just never a fun time. colors for the mountains. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm still undecided if this is going to be green or gray like the mountain. I know this part will be gray because I can see the mountain right there. And under here. This part, I'm just going to make it all gray. I really want to try out my Arteza watercolor pencils that I've had for over a month now. Um, I haven't used them yet and I really want to. I think I'm going to want to do them in the new Hannah Carlson book because I got that. So, you know, I think that would look funny if I put that gray there. So let me actually just do that the dark green. might not look funny, but that's okay. I'm just say that that's a little, a little bush line back there. 
there we go so I really 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 like that color for the mountains it's a good choice just a touch of this right there because that color was a little too bright okay now I said I wanted to do like a purple sky I don't know what color that's really super dark not that purple maybe this purple this is aster tatter I don't know aster <laughs> That look well. That might be okay because the other purple's too light, so it's way too light. Because this is more of a night sky, so let's just go ahead and go with the aster color and see what happens. I hope it's not too dark for her outfit. I don't think it will be. No, it's it's a much different color, so it'll be okay. Okay kind of a purpley blue. I just didn't want to do the background black. <laughs> I could have, but I didn't want to, so. My shoulder blade has been itching ever since yesterday and I have been scratching the crap out of it and it just keeps itching I even had hubby scratch it last night and I'm like ah get it but he's a bad nail biter so he don't have no nails on his hands and he couldn't really I'm just gonna bear scratch back here on my chair it like really is a bit itching just like crazy Yeah, I think I'm gonna like that color for the background. Can you see that? That looks pretty good. So after this, obviously I'll have to edit it and get the video ready to upload. And while it's uploading and taking the rest of the day, because that's the way it does, I will fix me or find something to eat. I need to go to the post office. I got my munch pack come in today, so I'm excited to see what snacks are in there. I don't know if I'll do a video for munch pack. I got my Ipsy bag yesterday, and I'm not sure if I'll do an Ipsy bag either. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see munch pack and Ipsy bag. Of course, you might not see this much packs. It might have to be next month because when I get them, I want to eat the snacks inside immediately. I don't want to wait because I have no self-control. So, <laughs> I might... Uh, I don't know. I just need, I know I need to go to the post office and get that. Also see if by chance my titles come in today. I need to get dressed. I'm still in my pajamas. I want to send some love and hugs to my sweet friend Nikki. I just want to tell you I love you. And I also want to send love and hugs to Miss Anne and her mama. I hope your mama's doing good, Miss Anne. And you guys are in my thoughts and prayers. You and your mom and your whole family, Anne and Miss Nikki, same with you. But you know that already, don't you? So, I also want to say hello to all of the new subscribers, to all of you that have joined the Sparkle Squad. Welcome. Thank you for being here. I do appreciate each and every one of you. I'm just going to color over these stars here. No! Oh no! <gasps> Look what happened! Do you see what happened? No! Can I erase it? 
Can I erase it? Will it go away? Oh my god. Okay, tell you what I'm gonna do. So I might be able to get some of that out with this light colored marker. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Oh my gosh. Has this ever happened to you? You drop your marker on your page. Sometimes when you have a dark colored marker, your light one can erase it. And it did. Look at that. by the bell, huh? I'm not even worried about that little bot there, but it was right that that bothered me. So that's better. Okay. Huh. Phew. Phew. Okay. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah. So welcome to all of my new subscribers or all of the new members of the Sparkle Squad. You just saw me make a mistakey, but I fixed it. So yeah, if that ever happens to you and you drop a dark color on your light color, you can always take that light color and keep going over it. And a lot of the time it will kind of erase it or at least lighten it so it doesn't look um, too bad. You can kind of make it where it's not as visible. I'd have been mad if it would have went like on her skin or something because that would have been harder. But it didn't, so thank goodness for that. I better glue this marker in my hand. I don't want to do that again. I've done that with pencil, but you can easily cover up that. Not so easy with the marker. I really like this color I put in the background. It's kind of making everything pop. I really like it. I'm glad I went with this color. That other color was too dark though. It would have really overtook the page if I would have used that other purple, purpley color. This is purple, but it really looks blue. It's got a blue tinge, but it's also purple. sky here. My stupid nose. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of my nose. I don't want my nose no more. I want a new nose. starting to hurt but we're gonna get her done you can reshape these clouds too if you want if you don't like the way it's shaped
hopefully my head is not in the picture because I have not done my hair. I'm like I said, I'm still in my pajamas. I haven't fixed my hair. I haven't done anything yet today. And it's already, dang, it's already almost one o'clock. Wow. I gotta, I need to eat. I need to go do some stuff. But I want to finish her. We're so close. We are so close. I forgot I need to color this moon here. I need a pale color. No, nose is running. I take allergy pill. I foresee that being a thing today. Allergy pill. leave the clouds just like they are. I don't think I'm going to do anything with them. Just kind of leave them that smoky color there. strip my bed, wash all the blankets and all that fun stuff. I hate washing the bedding, but needs to be done. I got the pillows in there right now. Yes, I said the pillows, the pillows and the pillowcases because they all be washed. Don't tell hubby I said this, but he drools on his pillows at night, so uh, they get a little stinky. So I need to do the whole pillow and the pillowcases and it Sometimes washing the pillows also makes them fluff up. Like they they kind of got a little flat, so I'm hoping that they get a little fluffy again. Really just need to buy some new pillows again, but I don't know what kind to get. We got these ones, I think. January or so. I don't remember. All right, just a couple more patches of sky. Then we'll do the moon, add in the stars with the white gel pen and any other type of little bling we might want to do. And we're done. Our little cutie pie here is done. I think I'm gonna name her. She needs a name. Shall we name her Dixie? Daisy? Daisy May? There, that's her name, Daisy May. The little cowgirl witch. I think she's cute. I really like the little fluffy witch on the next page over, so I'm going to have to do her next, I think. Because she's so cute. Okay, just have this top part of the sky. <coughs> Excuse me, my allergies are bad. I'm going to throw all my markers back in the case over here. I always keep the colors I'm using out to the side in case I need to grab them again so I remember what color I was using. I do that with pencils and even my Sharpies. I always keep them out to the side. You never know when you're gonna need that color again or when you might have missed something. I'm just gonna turn the book sideways so I can get the top up here, flip this around and use the chisel and go quicker.
Okay, that's cute. <coughs> I need a drink of my Coke. Now I think uh, for the moon, there is a certain color. <coughs> That's green. Raw silk. It's either raw silk or cream. Ah, raw silk. I always like this color for the moons. Let's add some highlights and stuff in. I found a new favorite white gel pen and that is the Sakura Jelly Roll gel pens. I found a pack of three of them at Walmart and they're different tips. You get a uh, five, a five tip millimeter, I believe. Yeah, uh, so that's the small one. You get an eight, so that's a medium tip, and then you get a 10, which is a big tip. And I love these so much. So I'm gonna add just another little sparkle down in her eye. A little bit on her lip right there. I'm gonna put a little like this there to just kind of give that a little highlight. Maybe it's like a little gem up there in her hat. Um, we got these little stars here, so I'm just gonna put a little dot for the star. Let's see, there's one here. I might add just a few more to Yeah, let's just add some more. I think that was supposed to be a cloud right there, but I colored it as a sky. Well, that's okay. trying to make them random. It's hard when you're doing it like this to make it random. It's easy if you can spatter them, but I don't want to spatter white on here right now. So just kind of some of these bigger circles I kind of want to bring out like that. Like a little little winky star. <laughs> Never been real good at doing them, but they're kinda like that. Trying not to get my hand in it.
I think that's plenty. And then, like in the river, like I said, we'll just take this and just kind of I'm just gonna kind of smear it down here so I don't want it to be too stark. Like that. That'll work. I like that. Okay. I think we're done. I think she's cuter than Snot. How cute is she? I want one big star right there. And then we'll just go boop, 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 boop. Yeah, like that. There we go. I kind of like how I did that one better. Dot. We'll go whoop, whoop, whoop. Here. I like her. Okay, she is done. Yay! Isn't she cute? Oh, I love it. She turned out really cute. Um, I'm trying to decide, do I want to put any, any blingy blings anywhere else on her? I really don't feel like she needs it. I feel like that's perfect. So I'm gonna leave her as is. All right guys, so there, there is our little cowgirl witch. What do y'all think? Do you love her or do you love her? I love her. I think she turned out really cute. Even though we had a little bit of a mishap right here, it's still okay, because you can't really tell now. And there's the stars and the, her sparkle, just a little bit of sparkle in there. I love her. All right, guys, so thank you so much for spending the last hour and a half with me while we colored this cutie patootie. And if you forgot, this is from Cute Witches by Jade Summer. And I used Cali Out markers only. Didn't even grab a Sharpie. And then of course the Sakura Jelly Roll white gel pens. I will have a link in the description for this book and for the Cali Arts and for the Jelly Rolls if you would like to purchase those. There's also different ways that you can get a hold of me down there in that description. There's my email, there's my Facebook, there's my Facebook group. If you haven't joined the Sparkle Squad on Facebook, please send a request and I will get you approved ASAP. If you would just like to email me, my email's down there if you just want to chat. Um, let's see what else. My Snapchat's on there, Instagram. Um, if you want to check out the things that I am coveting and hoping I uh, hoping to buy in my wish list are down there you might find something that you want to get on one of my lists maybe I don't know but anyway get for yourself not for me don't ever have to get me anything but anyway so yes that is all of that stuff down in that description so just be sure to check that out uh, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If this is the first time you've seen me and you've enjoyed it and you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button. Also, remember to ring the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. I try to do one to two videos a week, although sometimes I don't always get around to it. But uh, normally I try to do one to two videos a week, so be sure to hit that notification bell so you know. And I think that is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night, whenever it is you're watching this. And I will see you in the next video. Remember, don't ever let anybody dull your sparkle. Goodbye, Sparkle Squad.